In this lesson, we're going to learn the double palm upward block in walking stance. So, if you recall, previously we've done single palm upward block, double palm upward block, as the name implies, is like this. So now we're using both hands for the block. The block still finishes in the same position, so your arms are not out straight like this. They're still bent. Your elbows are still in close to your body in the finishing position. Palms both facing up. You stop the block at about solar plexus height, same as the single hand version of the block. So you're not going way up high like this, and you're not stopping the block down here like this. Bring it forward, and about solar plexus level is where your palms are at the finish. So when you step, turn the hands over like this, palms facing down, circle, and then come up. And I use the analogy to think of like you're splashing water at somebody. So imagine that you're standing in water and you are splashing the water towards somebody. So from here and then circling and up. So around, circle, and come up like this. So here, circle, up. Circle, and come up. That is double palm upward block. So looking from the side, so from here, and try to keep the hands close to the body as you're circling. Don't go way out like this and try to go out wide to the side. Keep everything in tight to your body. So a tight circle, not way out here like this. Okay? And again, keeping your thumbs to the side, fingers all tight together, don't have them splayed out like this. Everything tight together throughout this motion. What are some of the uses for double palm upward block? Well, with both hands involved, it gives you a more powerful block. So you can imagine if somebody was doing a kick, I mentioned before that the palm upward block, you can use that to get somebody to hyperextend on a kick by getting underneath their leg and lifting it up. Now you've got two hands to lift with instead of just one. So you can get a little bit more power on the, the block when you're doing it. You could also use this to shove somebody. You can imagine a crouching opponent, somebody that's on the ground. This same movement, this same action, you can use to push somebody off and create space and create separation from you. So there are a number of uses for the double palm upward block and the greatest advantage of course is now you have both hands involved in the block and you're getting that extra strength, that extra power in the block. So practicing by count. front of you like this. You don't want them to be too wide. You also don't want them to be too narrow. So just like shoulder width apart like this is perfectly fine. So just think you could use this to block two different attacks simultaneously from two different people, but being realistic, 
you're probably going to be defending against one person, one attack, and you're using both hands to get some extra leverage, some extra power in the block. So that is double palm upward block in walking stance.